Welcome to downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Hmm, what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Stairs down. What's left of them, anyway? Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Bum. Then I guess we're climbing. Swing across. Okay. Ready? You first. for a way up. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You're right. Up we go, then. Up 
here. Come. Ah, go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 poor boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <clears throat> because you said, please. I didn't, actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he you thinks you'll benefit. Is that why the horse of my chosen power could do? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Good. That's cool. Really the only way across. <laughs> yep. You having fun out there? You know it. you know You're doing great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the car. Surprised we haven't seen Saab yet. Not on wood. Well, he's around. Doubt we'll see him up here. Why's that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. What? Oh, 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 thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Get off this thing. Okay. Easy does it. <clears throat> really? When are you going to be back here?
feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia, like a normal person. You ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't all fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. This whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. Through here. Right hey, look, armaments. You were writing it in. I have my moments. Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. That actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony. Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. 
Huh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Good, though I might need to rearrange them to get both sides. I think that's it. Yeah, not any. and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Oh. Amazing. What the shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. 
The horse that I've sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belor? Oh, shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty's not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Assad's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Okay, They're making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. 
took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Yeah, right. I remember. You take left, I take right. Are you having doubts? <gasps> what the? <laughs> that works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from.
all right? I think so. Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. <laughs> Up here. Think there's a way through. being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we get out? Look up. Up here, there's a breach. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Fraser, get up! 